what else do we want to talk about? Um, um, that's about all the highlights really for, for Monitor right now. We do have right. some exciting stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what, uh, what's new? What's new yeah, in the, the world of energy tool base? Yeah, the biggest thing is that we're launching a, um, a REC service. So mm -hmm. for anyone that's not familiar, um, basically RECs are renewable energy credits. And you get a credit for every megawatt hour of energy that your solar produces. Um, and then these credits are kind of sold on the open market. Um, energy tool base is basically going to be offering a service where if you use ETB for your solar monitoring, we will measure all that solar. We will register it with all the reporting entities. Um, we're a qualified reporting entity, so we can you know, basically handle all the rec trading, um, all any kind of reporting. Um, and we're kind of proposing a flat 20% fee on the different rec, uh, rec trades we do. Um, right now they're pretty um they're pretty underutilized just because that whole um really the whole reporting, it's like a month by month reporting system you have to um comply with. Yep. And so a lot of people look at it as just man, right. it's a ton of work. <laughs> yep, it's a ton of manual effort. And really it's you know it's post install. So it's kind of what's, ongoing for the life of the system. What's the price per rec right now for that one megawatt hour of production? Yeah, currently they, it does fluctuate. Um, they're currently trading about fifteen dollars. Okay. Um, yeah, and what's great with um, ETV is a lot of a lot of the reason customers um, don't really um, do it themselves, or a developer or asset owner might want to do it themselves, is you need kind of a bulk. Um, a bulk kind of a big package of recs to really sell. No one's super yeah. interested in like one rec. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the way we, we're kind of able to do this yeah. is we can aggregate, hey, all of our solar monitoring sites, if you enroll with us, basically we can bundle all of the recs. And when we have a lot of recs together, we can command a higher price um, on the open market than you know a developer can do really on their own. So that's kind of part of the service we're offering is we can even sell it at a higher price. And even if you wanted to do all the reporting yourself, which yeah. You probably don't. Um, we could even get a fetch a higher price because of that. So if you say like your average kilowatt hour rate is like, I don't know, somewhere 20 to 30 cents in California at $15 per megawatt hour. If I do the math real quickly in my head, that comes to about 5% of the value of the electricity. Is that yep. 5 to 10%? Um, yeah, and what we're looking at is um kind of a... The rule of thumb would be um, for a 300 kilowatt PV system, um, the revenue from the RECs is about an additional like $7,000 a year. Wow, that's significant. Yeah, you know, we handle the whole thing and basically get a check every quarter. Nice. Yeah, very <laughs> yeah. cool. Very yeah, cool. so that's, um, that's coming out in, uh, in a few weeks here. Nice. Great to know. Well, Matt, thank you very much for all this wealth of information you shared with us and the in-depth uh, look you uh, gave into ETV Monitor. And um, we will continue uh, probably doing these sessions and uh, get a deeper uh, uh, look into uh, Energy Tool Basis offerings. I think next on the agenda is a, a deep dive into the your old product, ETB model developer uh, product uh, on our next session. And, uh, nice. All right. Thanks for having thank me. You. Thank you. Thank you for everything you shared. <laughs> Thanks.